The Aminal by Lorna and Leisha Balian. The Aminal. Patrick was having a picnic all by himself when he saw it. Having a picnic all alone is not as pleasant as having a picnic with a friend. That's why Patrick decided to catch it and be a friend to it and share his picnic with it and take it home with him and they would be friends forever. So he caught it and although he tried to hide, it seemed to be friendly. Patrick offered to share his picnic, but the creature wasn't interested in pickles or peanut butter sandwiches or even fig bars. It only seemed sleepy. Patrick made a nice soft bed for it with grass and dandelion fuzzies in his lunch bag, and he started for home. On the way, he met Molly. Patrick told her that he caught an aminal all by himself and that it was sleeping in his lunch bag. It's round and green and blinky-eyed with lots of prickly toenails and a waggy tail, he said. I think it's going to be hungry when it wakes up, and I have to hurry home and feed it. And away he went. Along came Calvin, who asked Molly where Patrick was going in such a hurry. She told him that Patrick had caught an aminal and was going, to, going home to feed it. She said it was a round, wild, green thing that had slinky eyes and lots of toes with prickles and a long, waggy tail. What does it eat? He asked. I don't know, she said. I really can't imagine, Calvin. Calvin ran to find his friend Freddy. He told him that Patrick had caught a wild thing called an aminal, that it was big and round and green with lots of feet and eyes, and it had sharp things all over and a long snappy tail, and it ate things. What kind of things does it eat? asked Freddy. I don't know, gulped Kevin. Lots of things, I suppose. Freddy told his sister Cookie about the terrible wild aminal thing that Patrick had caught. He told her it was big and green and furry. He told her it had eyes and stickery things all over and hundreds of feet. And it had a long tail like a snake. And it ate and ate and ate. What does it eat? gasped Cookie. I don't know, said Freddy, but it eats lots of it. I wonder what, Cookie whispered. Cookie told Geraldine that, there, that they had better stay away from Patrick's house because he had this aminal thing that was just awful wild, and although she supposed he kept it locked up, well, you could never really tell what it might do if it got hungry enough. She told her it had lots of tangly, stickery, green fur and terrible eyes, and it was a hundred feet long, and it had snakes on its tail. How dreadful, said Geraldine. What does it eat? What do you think? whispered Cookie. Oh, dear me, quivered Geraldine, feeling very goosebumpy. Suddenly, it occurred to Cookie that Patrick was her friend, that Patrick was little, that Patrick probably didn't realize the danger he was in, that Patrick should be warned and protected. They ran to tell the others. Patrick is little, Cookie told them. Patrick is in danger, she said. We have to warn him and protect him. He's our friend. They all hurried to find something that might help to protect a friend. And arrived breathlessly at Patrick's house. Where is that wild thing you caught, Patrick? They all asked. 
It's behind the house, he replied. Do you want to see it? Yes, they did, and no, no, they didn't. But maybe they ought to. Just a quick peek. They followed Patrick fearfully around the house. It's gone, said Patrick. It's gone! It was sitting right here, and now it's gone. Help me find it. Please help me find it. They looked in the tall weeds and found bugs and caterpillars. They looked in the tree and found Molly's cat. Under the bushes, they found lots of prickles, but they weren't green prickles. They peeked into the garage, but it was too dark to find anything in there. They looked everywhere, everywhere except... The porch, said Patrick. Maybe it's hiding under the porch. Calvin said he was much too big to crawl under the porch. Molly was certain she was too big. Freddy stretched as tall as he could on his tiptoes and hoped he wouldn't fit in that small, dark place. I couldn't squeeze under there, said Cookie. Geraldine was sure that she couldn't either. But Patrick quickly squirmed under the porch. I found it! I found my aminal! Here it is! Oh, Patrick, that's not an animal. That's an animal. A turtle animal, said Calvin, very relieved. That's what I said, an animal, said Patrick. Humph, Geraldine said. It's just a silly little turtle. It's a nice, friendly little turtle, said Molly. What's its name? Patrick thought for a moment. I didn't name it yet, but I think I'll call it Friendly. They all agreed that Friendly was a good name for a friendly little, harmless little, green little turtle. What does Friendly eat, Patrick? Giggled Cookie. Mosquitoes, said Patrick. That's what, lots and lots of mosquitoes.